So um, you may be familiar with crystals. Um, some may or may not be familiar with ceramic resonators. So re ceramic resonator is kind of a poor man's crystal. If you really don't need the accuracy of a crystal, ceramic resonators are a lot cheaper. They're just a piece of ceramic that can, uh, that can do the same thing. They're an LC circuit, basically. Um, and so let's go ahead and see what the difference is, okay? So in order to test a crystal, one, one simple way that I do is just to put some uh, clip leads on your, uh, oops, <clears throat> put some clip leads on your, uh, you could use your nano VMA, you could put it in S21 mode, or you can use a, um, a spectrum analyzer with a tracking generator. That's what we're going to do. And so we are going to sweep this. We're just going to put our clip leads right across it. No need to hook up the uh, grounds. We'll just put a put it that way, okay? And uh, if we have a spectrum analyzer with a tracking generator, then we can turn that on. Uh, and we can then uh, put in some nice heavy uh, zero dBm of power. That looks good. And then we want to look around four megahertz, which is this crystal. So we'll do a frequency center of four megahertz. And we can see there's some funny business going right there at four megahertz. So we can, we can zoom in on that. And sure enough, we see something that looks like a crystal, right? It has a resonance. That's what, re that's what resonance looks like. Okay. And, um, and then sometimes your crystal has extra vibrational modes and you'll see those out at different frequencies and stuff. But, uh, you can see that we have, uh, we have a crystal here. It looks like a very, very nice crystal. All right. So, um, let's go ahead and we will do the same thing. Uh, this time we will put in a ceramic resonator. So, and this one happens to be a four megahertz ceramic resonator. If we go back to the uh, spectrum analyzer, there we go. It looks just like a crystal. Comes up and down. It has some extra little wigglies, but that's fine. It'll work just fine. Um, we will go here, you know, 10, 20, 30. There's, there's a lot of dBs in that, in that uh, oscillation there. So, or resonance, I should say. So everything looks great, right? Well, I kind of cheated off camera. Um, I have changed the span. All right, so I actually have a five megahertz span. So let's uh, let's change the span here to, here's a 500 kilohertz span, okay? I will, uh, put in the, I'll take out the uh, ceramic resonator and I'll put in the, uh, crystal and we'll see how the two compare <laughs> well you can see this is so much narrow it's very very tight resonance I think you can see that on camera and this one's a very very broad resonance so um, this is also known as Q it's the quality factor of your um, of your resonance it's how tightly tight it is if you move off a little in frequency boy it's very very it's very, very uh, sensitive. Uh, let's see, can we span with the memory in there yet? Uh, no, the other, the other one's going to disappear. My, 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 the one that I remember is going to disappear because we, uh, because we've already gotten rid of it. Where is it here? Let's see here. Oh, I'm changing the wrong thing here. Let me go back. Frequency, four megahertz, span. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the same thing. So anyway, um, yeah, so we have uh, different Q factors for our, uh, for our different devices. So um, let's, let's see, I want to demo it this really good here. So let's put the, uh, let's put the ceramic res resonator back in. And yeah, there we go. So we are going to trace we are going to view this one there we go now we're going to go back to the a clear right all right so this is our ceramic resonator now when i get rid of it there we go it stayed there so let me put in the uh 
let me put in the uh, crystal again. Anyway, that's a very, very nice looking picture. So there you go. Let me take a picture of this. Um, save. Enter. So yeah, um, a lot of times if you're just doing simple things, just it doesn't need to be all that accurate, then you can get away with a ceramic resonator. Um, but you know, it's a bit approximate, <laughs> whereas the crystal is going to be very, very accurate. Um, and the more money you spend on crystals, the more accurate you can, you can make them as well. Uh, pay more money, you get a, you get a better one. Uh, I want to point out just one thing while we're here. Um, sometimes you'll see ceramic resonators with, um, two leads, two leads, just like a, uh, just like a crystal. Okay. And, uh, sometimes you'll see them with three lead, three leg, legs, right? One, two, one, two, three. And so uh, the way those are used is you still use the outside pins, all right? And then um, you will use the middle pin as ground. And it's just the way these things are the way that these things are constructed. My leads are getting in the way. There we go. All right. So if we go back up, it's the same thing. <laughs> okay? So well, the purple one was the one we had before, and the yellow one is this one. Those are two different devices, and they're measuring they're measuring about the same. All right. So, yeah. So sometimes you have three, sometimes you have two, but they're basically the same thing. So don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> sometimes there's some built-in capacitance on those leads. Sometimes an oscillator needs a you know 10 picofarads to ground on both sides of the crystal to operate correctly. So sometimes those are built in and make these, uh, make these work a little bit better. But I think we saw here for this, for at least these particular two, they operate basically exactly the same. So uh, one has two, one has three, and uh, they have much broader Q than, uh, than the crystal. Crystal has much, much better Q.